Hey there, today we're going to play the ARK game. The ARK game is a, is a game by Alexei Borsky. It takes the abstract reasoning corpus by uh, Francois Cholet from The Measure of Intelligence and it lets you play it as a human in a little website. So this is pretty cool. This is the second channel. This is Yannick out of distribution. Don't expect quality <laughs> content here. It's pretty random so far. It's all like let's plays. Um, but we're gonna go through this ARK game. It's pretty fun and you may want to try it yourself to just see how hard it is. So the goal is that an AI can solve new instances of these things. You're gonna see just how hard it is to program an AI that can solve these general things. So the basic layout is the following. You get like three or four examples and the examples are always two squares. So there's the left square it was like the task and the right square is like the result. So here you see task result and then another one top right task result and another one in the bottom task result. And you're supposed to for this instance down here get the result. So what's the result for this one? When you click on it, it kind of like copies over the state which often is, is useful thing to do but you only get it right if you get the exact right solution so it's only like exactly right or wrong there there's no in between so here it is sort of you get a square that's double the size and all you need to do is kind of like just sub pixels the image so let's go get going here this is red this here is green probably gray right here and you'll see, you'll see it gets harder. You know, how would you build a machine that learns general things right here? You might think this one's easy, right? But this is one instance. There's no other instance that's exactly like this. Ah, come on, come on. There's no other instance that's exactly like... I <laughs> See? I'm a human. I can't even, I can't actually do it. So, there we go. All right, so I hope this is correct. Check, yes, good. So these are entry level, right? So we'll make our way through easy because I want to get to the to the hard ones. Yeah, just get to go away. Um, okay, so I want to get to the hard ones. So you, you want to take the left one, you want to mirror it, sort of copy it and mirror it, right? Same here, copy and mirror, copy and mirror, copy and mirror. Okay, copy, which is click on it and now mirror. And mirror is... Ooh, it's a uh, do, uh, do, do, and do. Right? Okay. Check. Cool. Excellent. All right. So these are easy. So you, you can see that there, there's kind of sometimes like there's a bit of logic in it. Sometimes there's a bit of physics in it, right? Let's try a medium one. So this is a medium one. Um, Left, right. Okay, so it seems like you sort of have to translate this to the bottom right, this pattern, into the black. By the way, is black empty? Because it could be any other color, right? But yeah, so you, you see, like, how, how are you gonna get an AI that solves all of these instances, even so far? And these, this is only medium. So let's do that. There's no example where there's nothing on the left side. So I'm just gonna say, you know, this is like this and like this. And like this. Yep. Okay, okay. It's not too hard, but let's try the hard one. Can I tab click here? Yes, I can. Um wow. <laughs> okay, so this is this is different, right? You can see apparently like some sort of hole filling. You can't even really describe what the pattern is, right? You just kind of know as a human. These are this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. So there should okay. This is is a hard challenge already. I think I think this is a hard challenge. So we copy it over, right? So let's look at the gray thing right here. So this is two, then there's three, then there's conceivably four right here, right? And conceivably there's two orange, three. So there's three pink ones probably right here. And what's here is probably yellow. Now the question is how many yellow? Two, three, four, five, six yellow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven yellow. So these must be green. See, this is what I'm not even sure what I'm doing, right? I'm, I, I, on a, like I have no idea if I could formulate this generally. Okay, two, three. So these must be gray as well. I'm gonna guess. What are 
what are these? We might look actually up here. These are probably orange, right? So this is probably, it's probably mirrored. We might not even have to go. Yeah, we can just probably mirror. Two, three, four. So these must be yellow. Two, three, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. And this being green. Ooh, this is tedious, tedious. This is all green, very probably, right? So this is five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Da, da, da. So, oof. ah, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I screwed up, didn't I? <laughs> two, three, four, uh, six. This is gray. Now the question is what's here? Ah. Ah, uh, help. Ah, oh, this is the same, just in different colors. So what's gray is the pink right here. There is, yeah, four and three and four and three and three. Four and three and three. And then there is one in, okay. Three and three and then one in. Uh, please let this be correct. Please. I'm not gonna do it again. No. Where did we go wrong? Here, probably. Probably this should be. This should be green. This one, right? Yep. No. <laughs> Why? Why does the face get more and more sad as you keep failing? Where is the irregularity? Two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five. Five, yep, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe there should be a yellow that right there. How about that? How about that? Yeah. <clears throat> there's there's probably an easier way to, to solve this. So we're gonna solve a bunch of hard ones just to give you an impression. Unfixed. What what does unfixed mean? Unfixed. What? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Dark. To die. Okay, this. <gasps> we can do this. Please. Okay. Um, let's do it. Cool. So, on the left, there is stuff. So, we have somehow have to integrate, right? What we see right here. What I can see is, for example, that for the red, everything that's red here is red here. Is that true in general? That's true here as well. That's true here and here. So the black is like a bit of a mask, okay? And the red is, the red is almost like, a, like what's the green stuff? Green never appears. Green is, a uh, green is just boundary. Okay, so we have to figure out precedences. Red is clearly highest precedence. And then it seems to be yellow is more precedent than both gray and blue. And then blue is more precedent than gray. Gray is lowest, then blue, then yellow, then red. Let's just try this. So gray is lowest. So we're gonna color in first the red ones. That's gonna be less work. <laughs> then the yellow ones that are not red, right? So this, this, and this. Okay. Then the blue. So this one here, these two here. Not this one, but this one. And then we're gonna color in the gray. So the gray would be the last ones. Okay, how? How in the world, like how should an algorithm figure this out? Look at that. It's not even like, it's not even clear to you as a human, it's somehow clear these are like sequences and the green is like a boundary between them. Like these all represent the big thing, but gee, to a machine, this is just like a four by whatever square, right? And this is, this is tough. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay, from this yellow thing, we make this. And then from this, we make this. So it goes down. Everything that's yellow goes down, you can see this. And my hypothesis is that when a yellow touches the red thing, there are these beams coming out, right? 
How about here? Yeah, when a yellow touches the thing. Yeah, okay. So we move down with the yellow. So everything that's yellow moves down. So we need to clear this. And it's yellow moves down. This is four here. This is da, 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 here. And now since this touched, we're gonna ray out like this. Let's check. Yeah, yeah. You see, like this is even harder than just somehow learning that, you know, things correspond to each other. Y here you need to imagine some sort of a movement, right? So th there's a lot of concepts right here. The yellow things, they move. The, the red thing is like a, a wall or a barrier. There's touch, right? There's, mo there's synchronous movement. Look, all the yellow stuff moves together. There's touch, like collision detection. And then there is like result, like causal result from the collision detection coming out. This is extremely hard for an al like for an algorithm. So imagine that let's try some more, right? This is, no, no. Whoa, this looks weird. Let's try to decipher it. Is it flipped? It's just flipped, isn't it? Up down flip. No, but you see, even if you figure out, like, let's say you're an algorithm, you figure out this is an up down flip, right, which it appears to it is an up down flip. Okay, so you can't just learn the mapping from square to square, because they are different sizes, right? The bottom one here is is larger. So you need really need to learn the concept of an up down flip of this image. The same algorithm needs to do that as does the moving, bouncing and ray and so on. So in one instance, the algorithm has to have a concept of like physics and these things representing objects. And in the other one, like here, pretty clearly, like the concept of flipping vertically is like has nothing to do with these things being physics based or anything like this. <laughs> Look, look at that. Okay, this seems to be like as a human, this is easy as a machine. This is really hard. So apparently you view this as like a maze and you fill with the pattern that this initial thing has you fill it up. You see? Okay, same here. Also note, these are different mazes, different sizes and so on. And the fact that you have to recognize again that it's a maze, it means you need to imagine this as like a, an overhead map, you need to understand these are walls and, and so on, right? This is crazy. You know, we can we can try we can try right here. Oh, this is gonna be tedious, isn't it? <laughs> so the oh no, there is lots of stuff. There is lots of stuff. Uh, uh, um yep yep Yep, yep. Yeah, just, I mean, ima and you have to get it exactly right. If you get one wrong, you, th th there's not. So, I don't know. Imagine how you would go about this. Human, one, machine, zero. Zero, zero. Whole filling. Yeah, you see, this is this is mirroring, but it's not exactly mirroring, right? Because look at that, like it's mirroring. This is the middle. The mirror axis is the bottom row. See, you don't, you just append this mirrored, and then the mirror axis is the top row again. So essentially, you go top row, middle row, bottom row, middle row, top row, middle row, bottom row, middle row, top row. That's the whole pattern right here. Same right here. It's top, middle, middle, bottom, middle, middle. Again, you can't learn a mapping because they have different amount of, of heights. You really need to somehow either learn the mirroring with the outer rows being deduplicated or to learn sort of to, to count forward and backward like this. Crazy. Okay, this seems interesting. So we got a blue right here and this becomes a TikTok logo. Excellent. Um, blue here, nothing happens, probably because there's a hole, right? So not again, you have to like imagine these as, as objects. Here you have a bunch of blue stuff. And okay, only the ones that are closed, they get filled up. So they get an outer layer of red and an inner layer of green. We can we can do this. We can totally do this. All right, so we need an inner layer of green everywhere where of course, here, everything is going to be closed because 
makes us click more. Inner layer of green, like this. I think the diagonals were also green, so this is pretty much gonna be everything. No, no, not this one. And an outer layer of red. So like that. I think so at least, right? That was it. Like this here, easy peasy, schmeasy. Okay, yada dum, yada dum, yada dum, yada dum. And I wonder like how often one is actually wrong in such a thing. Because it's quite possible you miss like some some stupid detail of the rule. Yeah, we got one more. Okay, we got one more. Um. Okay, so there is like this flowery thing right here, and there are just the centerpiece here. Like if you look at that, you know there are centerpieces around, and you need to sort of complete copy from the larger pattern. So it's not even right. It's not even. So you, you have to somehow recognize this thing that's separated by the green lines as one pattern. And then you have to recognize these other things as part of that pattern. And as a human, like I'm pretty sure here you see like flowers or something with the with the the yellow in the middle and, and the, the leaves, the, the petals around, maybe not though. This is like, and the separators aren't always the same color and it's just for a machine, this is this is terrible. Terrible. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. One. Of course, they have to. Of course. Yes. They want to make me click a lot. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, God. Yay, 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 yay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Okay. We fixed it. It's fine. It's okay. All right. Again, let's do this and this. No more drag clicking, just clicking. Now, I'm pretty sure this is gonna this is gonna go well, but okay, I'm still drag clicking. It's just faster. Oh, there's some gray down down there. I almost didn't see. Good. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, you get the idea. This is hard. This is very hard for machines. Like clearly humans can do this, right? Now the question is why? Why can you do this? Is it because this reminds me of like flowers and and I like recognize that that pattern or something? Or is it because more abstractly, I recognize these kinds of patterns, like clearly some of these things are patterns that you might see, or have seen in a mosaic somewhere. This is just hard, it's very hard. So this is like, you know, copy it over there and fill up in between with the sort of colors at the edge. Like how? How are you gonna learn this as a machine? In any case, give the ARC game a try. Thank you very, very much for making it. Alexei Borski, and see you next time. Bye-bye.